Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a bottle rocket. It's going to be able to launch from one of these kind of launchers. It looks like this with the zip ties and all that. I'm not going to show you how to make one of those because there's plenty of other tutorials to do that. Today I'm just showing you how to make the bottle rocket. And it'll be kind of small. So, let's get started. To get started with this bottle rocket, you're going to need a bottle. This bottle right here is a Pepsi bottle. It was 16 ounces and it's extra skinny. One second. It's skinnier than a normal just soda bottle that you would get. And um, it's better for the rocket because when it's skinny it's kind of, you know, more aerodynamic. And for the nose cone, which see there are two main parts of it. For the nose cone, I used another bottle. Actually the top of a a Coke bottle, like a, a small Coke bottle that was also 16 ounces, and I cut it off um, around where it was flat, and so you're left with the top of the bottle, like that. And what I did is I dropped a washer down in there, uh, and I put tape around it. I just took a, a long strip of electrical tape, put it over this way, and this way, and so on and so on, until you have this nice cone type thing and I put a washer in there and then I put some more tape to seal it off and the washer adds weight to the nose cone which makes it more um, aerodynamic and makes it fly as much better so once you make your nose cone and you have your body of your bottle rocket you can also do this with a thicker bottle and make sure it has straight walls just flat down the side and you can even do this with like a two liter bottle or one liter bottle whatever and you're just going to take this, make sure it fits on well, and you're going to push them together a bit, and then you're going to take a piece of tape to hold them better on, and just go around and make sure you get all the way around enough. So, it'll stay on well, but not, but also so you can not too well, so you can also take it off. So I'm just going to trim the tape with my little scissors. That's what I'll be using. And now you have your ball rocket with your nose cone. And you can see it's already starting to come together. Next, I'll show you how to do the fins. For the fins, you'll need some cardboard or also plastic cardboard will also work. It actually works better because it can withstand more... Uh, it can be like bent and stuff better than just normal cardboard. Right now, that's all I have. And so I'm going to teach you how to make fins with that. As you can see, I've already cut out many other fins. Making fins is pretty simple. All you need is your pen and scissors or a knife to cut it out with and your actual bottle. What you're going to do is you're going to put your bottle down on your cardboard and then you're going to use your um, pen and you're going to draw the outline right here, about to here. And then you're going to end up with a little uh, kind of curve and that's the right curve to the bottle. So once you cut out your fin, um, it will match the side of your bottle and then you can tape it on. So you usually want three three or four fins and you can make your shape from that. I'm just having this kind of partial triangle shape. And so I'm going to cut out three of those and then get back to you. Okay, I just wanted to tell you that while you're making your fins, they don't have to be too big. This is actually kind of small. You maybe want it a little pointier or something. But after you're done making one of the fins, make sure it fits on your bottle. Well, if it doesn't, you can trim it down. Mine doesn't fit on that well. Well, pretty well, but I'm going to trim it down a bit so it's the right size. And then trace that out two more times until I have all my fins. I now have all three fins cut out to uh, the right size and all that. And now I just need to attach them. You can attach them with glue. It's better. But then I'm making a video. I'm just going to make it fast by attaching it with um, some electrical tape which also works just fine with uh, these rockets. So, peel off a piece. When you attach these fins, make sure you don't just uh, attach them straight up and down. What actually works better is attaching them on an angle. This spirals it and makes it kind of like a bullet and goes really fast and really straight and keeps it from falling off to the sides. Overall, it just makes it a better rocket. So I'm going to take this one on. Now, 
on too much of an angle, but like a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to put another piece of tape on this side. So, one on this side, one on this side. Just like this. Make sure you glue it on very tightly. Sorry, tape it on very tightly so it doesn't wobble around too much. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest of the fins. Okay, now I have um, finished putting on my fins. I put a little extra tape around the top and the bottom to keep them really well on. As you can see, they're all on angles. They all have to be facing in the same angle direction. And luckily for me, there's these little kind of lines, kind of a design from the bottle, and I just put them all on one of those little lines, and I kept them pretty nice looking. Now that you have your fins, your nose, and your bottle rocket, it is pretty much done. You can also decorate it with like putting paper on here and putting colors and stuff, or putting boosters along the side. But yes, yeah, so I made a mini bottle rocket, and it shoots really well. You know, about 100 feet, 80 to 100 feet, it's pretty well. It's pretty um, well done. And with your pump, when you pump it up, you probably want to go to, if you want to get it to like 100 feet, pump it up to 80 psi. If you just want to put it at, um, sorry, 80 is over here. If you just want to put it at uh, maybe 60 feet, you go to 40 or 50 psi. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.